All right, so this one's going to be a little bit um, interesting and tricky. All right, so um, this one's Juan. He wants to invest um, $1,250 into a account that earns 2.34% interest compounded monthly. How many years will it take for the account to have a value of $5,000? All right, so we're going to take these parts and put them in our uh, calculator. So let's organize it. Let's organize it. Um, so... Let's see, uh, Juan wants to invest uh, 1200 and uh, we're going to put that into his uh, principal value, right? So that's going to be a negative $1,250. All right, um, you know, we have 2.34% interest, so again, 2.34 right here. Um, it's going to be compounded monthly, which means that's uh, 12 here, okay, so n equal 12. Uh, so which means both of these would be 12 here. Um, how many years will it take for the accounted value of 5,000? So you want a future value of 5,000 from that 1,200. So that's going to be our future value right here. All right, so future value, principal. Okay, again, the 1,250 is coming out of our pocket, so we need to put that in as a negative. Okay, and if you forget to do that, what ends up happening is that... Uh, you'll get an error um, or um, you'll get a negative um, whatever you're looking for depends on what you're doing with it um, so like if I left it as a positive and I'm looking for the future value the future value come out as a negative 5,000 because you kind of did it backwards so again if it's coming out of your wallet put it in as a negative okay um, again we're gonna ignore the payments for now we'll another lesson all right so the the issue here is, is what we're going to look for is we're looking for Rn. That's what we're looking for here. All right. And uh, he wants to know how long, how many years will it take? So our T is what we're going to look for here. All right. Now, um, we know that our big N equals our compounds times T. So if we're looking for how many years, this is what we are wanting to find. Okay. And usually that just involves us dividing by both sides by little n, right? And then when we do that, okay, we're going to have big N over little n equals our T. All right, and that's what we're going to find here to help us out uh, with this calculation. So I'm just going to write it the other way. So big N over N, okay, what will that equal? All right, so first we need to find out what big N is. All right, so to do that, we'll go to our online calculator. Okay, reset that. All right, so um, <clears throat> we got our um, interest rate. Let's go ahead and put that in. I'm probably doing this kind of randomly. So 2.34. All right, there's our interest rate. Our present value is negative um, $1,200. So we're going to put a minus $1,250. Uh, okay, our future value, he wants to make $5,000. So as a positive. All right, we'll leave payments alone. Our periods are, we don't know. That's what we're going to solve for. So remember, our period is our big N. But we do know that it's compounded monthly. Drop down menu, it's already there. So we're good. All right, so we're looking for the periods. And that's big N. So we got 711.61 uh, uh, periods. So what I'm going to do is take that 1106.1 and um, put it in for big N. All right, so let's go over here. Let's look at big N. All right, so this here is going to be um, 711.61 uh, periods. So we're going to use this. 711.61 divided by little n, which we know is 12. Okay, put that calculation into our calculator. All right, so this is going to be 59.3, basically, about. Okay, and this is a T, right? So this is years. All right, and that's, um, that's about how long it's going to take. So now remember, if you're investing into a mutual fund or CD, usually those things are locked in. You know, um, and you have a grace period of when you can pull that money out. So is 3.9 like a reasonable answer? So, but I would guess is that since it went over 59 years, 
This would be more of like a 60 year. Um, uh, situation to uh, to pull out that money if you want to make that. It'll be a little bit more, but um, again, if you pull it out, you know, a third of the year away, um, then uh, and if that's not your date to to withdraw from the account, then you could have penalties. Okay, so it's something to think about. So um, just depending on what you're investing in, okay, if you can pull it out at any time, or you have to wait. Okay, so usually you'll have to wait for the 60th year to finish. And then you can pull out your money to make at least that five thousand. If you pull out before, you won't make that five thousand dollars. You'll be close. Okay, so we have to wait at least fifty nine years and a third, right? So, just uh, just to think about that a little bit for uh, Juan here. 